Hey guys, it's Real Fishing and today we're down at West End, Brisbane River and today we're going to be fishing for the usual bull of sharks, um, fed fin, flathead and brim so yeah, let's, let's see what we can get. Alright guys, today we've got the shark rod again. Uh, we've got three other rods. We've got a uh, jigging rod and a fed fin rod, eight cluster, fed fin rod and your normal um, lure rod. Boom, lure rod. Yep, so yeah, now we're just going to pass this out. Nice car. She cast and we'll wait for the drag to run off. Where am I going? Alright guys, we've got three rods set out. One there, one there. And just put this rod out. Um, yeah, we're just gonna wait for the, the line. Oh, as you can see, there's a school of like, baby potty mullet there. That's always good signs that there's fish around. And because they're being chased, that means it's like fish around. So if we get a fish, Alright guys, we're just gonna have a cast net here, so I'm gonna go in the shady part because they might want to rest in the shade, so here we go. Right there. Um, yeah. They're good life, mate. Alright, guys, we've got about 10 prawns, and yeah, I've been catching quite a few, so now I'm just gonna have another cast. Just like that. Got a brim! He's legal! Yeah! He's legal! Come! Guys, look what I got. I just got this massive brim. Look at him. Yeah, he's legal. Oh, oh. Oh, look at that. Oh, get, get the one my lures, bro. Here, get, get the measure. On camera, guys. Oh, I never get anything on camera, but I just got a brim. No way. Going for prawns. That's sick. Oh, he, he's well and truly legal. Oh, no way. We'll get back to you when we take his measurement. Yep. All right, guys, we've taken a measurement of him. As you can see, 20, he's 26. See, come closer. 26 to the tip of the tail right there. And from the front there, so he is well and truly legal. So we'll get him in the bucket and we should cook him up today, so. All right, guys, we just got that brim very unexpectedly. And, yeah, we're going to go for more prawns and other fish like we just did. So, just going to wrap up the cast net. Just twist it around. Damn, nicely. Like that. Get a couple loops. And what I do, I grab a couple weights like this. Bit tangled. There we go. All right. A couple lead weights like that. Weigh it on the ground. Pick up that. That lead weight, and then this lead weight, and then we're just gonna cast. Three, two, one. Good car. Oh yep, yeah. one. 
Oh. This. Guys, we just got some nice prawns. That's a nice banana prawn right there. Great bait. And if we needed to do a catch and cook on them, we could. Oh, another nice, another nice prawn in the bucket. Um, oh, one up top here. I don't think we've got any prawns. Oh, what a nice weird species in here. Look at that. Isn't that this the prettiest fish? We'll let them go. I think that was either a scat or Batfish, I'm not sure. You can always hear the prawns jumping around in your cast net, but somehow they get out. So you're gonna go again. Nice car. Oh, yes, oh, got a nice size prawn. Oh, yeah, that's a nice prawn right there. Oh, put it in the bucket. Another one. This is a large one. Yep, having a lot of success with the cast net right now. Oh, the tiniest prawn. Another tiny prawn, no good. I didn't go to get bigger. I'm gonna go more over here now. I just got a prawn. prawn. On the line to cast them out. Oh, good. Oh, yep. Oh, nice. Nice bait. Bait size forms. Going in the bucket. Yeah, really getting a lot of prawns today. So, yeah. I'll come back to you when we get another good catch. <laughs> Alright, guys, I'm on now. Is, is it taking a drag? Yeah, it is. Alright, guys, Miles is a massive fish. Oh. Do you want me to take this, Miles? What? Do you want me to take this? <laughs> this could be a bully. We don't know. Keep attention, keep attention. Oh, yeah. That's Nice, keep going. It's gonna run soon. Keep it up, just keep the pressure. Here, do me a hand, pull it in. Oh, let it run. Oh my gosh. Right, Miles, we're going for a monster. Absolute monster. No more, he won't run over. Would you want me to do this? I got it.
This is a shock. Where is it? Or to ride. Right. Right. Mars is hooked onto a stingray. Right. No way. Yeah. Yep. Oh no. Alright guys, I'll just um, cast him down here. He's got this massive look flathead. Look what I've got. He's got the tape measure. This is 70 plus. This is huge. Yeah, I'm out here, hold the camera. This is quite huge. Big fatty. Big fatty. What is he? 52. Oh, not my PB. He's a 52 centimeter flathead. Should we keep him? Wait. We'll put him in the esky. Big ones are usually big feeding green mouse. Yeah, we'll just put him in the esky seal. Alright, guys, we're so, yeah. back at home and now we've taken all the guts out and taken the heads off. So, you need, and now we're just gonna scale them. Just gonna go away from you, just like that, with a sharp knife. Hold the tail and rub it against the skin, and you should see these scales popping off. So, there you go, do that to both sides. Here's a time lapse. Now we're gonna um, scale the brim. All right, we've got the um, brim in the tray now. We just gutted them and scaled them because we're gonna might put stuff inside them. So yeah, we don't want to take fillets off them. So yeah, now we're onto the flathead and now we're gonna fill it in. So first thing is you gotta find where the spine is, which is right here. And you're gonna make a small incision here. And you're gonna keep going down. Just like that. Keep following the spine. Just like that. I think we'll hit the time lapse. Alright guys, we've done all the fillets. This is the flathead fillet. Really nice white meat. And here are the brim. Very nice, taking the insides out of them. And here's the other fillet. Really nice meat. And also there's a lot, so yeah, we should eat pretty good. Get to the cooking stage. All right, now to the cooking stage. So, so firstly, we're just gonna cook the prawn and then later on we'll cook the flathead and brim. So we, the ingredients we're using today is salt and lemon juice. So yeah, let's get cooking. All right, we're gonna start with the lemon juice. So we're just gonna pour this into the boiling water. So now, and then we're gonna get a, a teaspoon of salt. All right. Now after and then we're gonna turn the thing off, don't we? No? Yeah, it does it turn thing off. And then you put the prawns in. Are you, are you following me? Yep. Stop it. Alright, now we're going to add the prawns. So here we go. Alright, all the prawns in. We'll leave them for four minutes. So yeah, we'll see you when they're done. Alright, now we're going to cook the fish up. So we're going to start with the brim. I'm going to put some seafood rum. All on the fish, both sides. All right, now we're gonna experiment with putting some orange in there, but we're gonna put some lemon juice in there first. Sorry, that's our cat. And now we're gonna put the orange in. So yeah, that's the brim done. All right, guys, now we're gonna do the flathead, so firstly we're going to get the seafood rub, put it all over and inside the flathead, and then we're going to get some lemon juice, put it on like that, that. and we're going to get a pinch of wild herb salt, and just sprinkle it nicely on top, and now we're going to cook up the flathead and brim fillets. Alright, now we're going to start with the brim. So here we go. 
from dry on. We'll let that cook until the um, meat falls off the bone. And so yeah, see you then. All right, I've got the seasoned fighter here. Now we're just gonna put it on face down like that and let it simmer like that so the meat starts falling. It smells really good at the moment, so yeah, we'll see. Get back to you when it's ready. All right, guys, the meat's done to fall off the bone. So now we're just gonna try to pick it up without breaking, just like that, and put it on top like that. That looks so good. We're gonna fry dead and prawns are done, so now we're gonna eat them. All right. Now we're ready to eat, so we've just dismantled the um, fighter. Have a look at that. Very good. On top of the bone. It's so good. Just feel like the um the meat with your tongue, so you can feel the bones, and yeah, you don't want bones in your throat. All that seasoning. Bang, you just taste it. Brim. Time for the brim. Oh, here's my mate. Oh. Yep, we'll try brim. Alright, guys, here's the brim. There we go. Did you take the poo out? There we are. Sweet. All these things we put in there. Just you taste it. it tastes like your average prawn. Alright, so we're gonna finish this feast and um yeah, we'll get back to you when we're done. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, like and subscribe for more videos like these and we'll see you in the next one.